Welcome back. Advocating for children who have been abused or neglected. Now that is the mission of New Mexico Kids Matter. They do this by empowering community volunteers to speak up for them in foster care systems. That's ensuring that every child grows up in a safe, nurturing, and permanent home. We are joined this morning by the Outreach and Recruitment Manager, Yvonne Garcia, finding out more. Yvonne, it's great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, let's kind of break down for everybody at home a little bit of the, the background on New Mexico Kids Matter and the, and the work that's done there. Yeah, sure. So we are, as my director likes to say, we are um, not only advocates for children in the foster care system, but we are that watchdog organization. Sure. Um, we gather information to make sure that the child is in the best placement possible or whatever the outcome may be. Um, whether they're going to be reunified, adopted, or into put into guardianship with who with with their foster parents. So um, we, she likes to you know dub us as the, that watchdog organization, so that you know nothing goes unseen. Absolutely, and, and I mean providing a voice for the little ones who don't really have a voice right now. Yes. And again, it's it's a sad situation, you know, in so many news stories that we've had uh, in our broadcast talking about you know situations where kids are abused in homes and in places here in New Mexico. So yeah. to look out for them, how do you guys make that approach? So I like to think of us as um, not only the watchdog, right? Um, a lot of these children don't have that stableness or that, um, you know, that consistency from an adult figure, right? So sure. a CASA, which is, is a court appointed special advocate, mm -hmm. is that stableness, is that consistency in their life. Um, so it's they're able to trust an adult again um, because beforehand right they they didn't have that they were let down by the adults in their lives um, so we we are that for them um, we are their confidant um, as we gather information to make sure that they're in the best placement possible yeah. how can the community become involved to, to lend the more support to the mission so we do have a website you can go to our website which is nmkidsmatter.org um, there, there is a, um, a section where you can um, volunteer. Um, we ask that you at least have 20 hours per month to volunteer um, your time. So you don't need any kind of special schooling. A regular person like you and I can volunteer. Um, you, we teach you everything. It's about a four week training, okay. one day a week for about four hours. Um, we teach you how to write court reports and everything that you need to know so that you can, you know, advocate for these children. Sure. Is there a certain age group that qualifies? Yes. Right. You do have to be 21 and over okay. to be able to volunteer. But other than that, um, no special schooling is required. We teach you everything that you, you need to know. Yeah. Um, you know, like we were talking about, it's just now more vital than ever. Um, what are some of the cases that, that, I mean, even you yourself have mm -hmm. seen, you know, coming in and up through the ranks? Yeah, so, I mean, all of us, we do have to have a case ourselves. So mm -hmm. I, I currently have a case um, where, you know, the child that I have on my case, it, the, the, their story is, is really, really sad, and I won't get too, sure. too into it. Obviously, there was a lot of abuse. There was um, a lot of neglect in the case, um, and it's, it, you know, the, the child was nonverbal when they first came into care, so um, they were they were pretty neglected. Um, they've come a long, long way. Uh, my kids are actually not here in the state of New Mexico. They were placed somewhere else on the East Coast. So to build that relationship, I've met with them via Zoom. Um, I've done art projects with them over Zoom so that we can build that trusting relationship. Um, and you know, it's it, it, it's 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 sad to to hear what they've been through, but. Um, the way that I like to look at it is if they can go through that and still be this bright light, even though they, 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 someone tried to diminish that, we can volunteer our time to, to advocate for them. There you go, and it takes a special organization to keep, make, uh, keep and make that possible. Yes. Uh, where can we find more information about NM Kids Matter? So we are on Facebook um, at uh, Facebook NM Kids Matter. Mm -hmm. And then also, again, our website is nmkidsmatter.org. Um, there is links that you can, if, even if you don't want to volunteer your time, sure. you can um, donate money. Everything goes back into what we do for our kiddos. There you go. Yes. lot's being done here in New Mexico. Yvonne Garcia, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you again for having us. We yeah. do appreciate you. Now, for a full recap of the entire interview, we'll have it later on this morning at always on krqe.com. 8.22 right now. Stay with us. Headlines and weather are after the break.